Okay, we are talking with Nicholas at Rio Yachts. This is a yacht made in Italy. Mm -hmm. It's the first time we have covered this yacht, so I want to turn it over to Nicholas to give us a walkthrough starting here at the stern in this innovative area where the back of the boat actually opens up and you mm -hmm. can see the triple 450Rs enclosed, which then provides additional capability for you to walk around the back. So mm -hmm. really, really awesome innovation as this goes up and down and you can access the engines, but also have additional seating area in the rear. So mm -hmm. Nicholas, tell us about Rio Yachts. I appreciate the intro. So yes, as you mentioned, uh, I'm actually with K Marine Group and we are representing Rio Yachts here at the Palm Beach Boat Show. And uh, this is a spectacular boat that we're pretty excited to have you know, in our inventory and offer it to our clients. It's a Rio Daytona 50. This is one of two boats one of, that are its size here in the United States that we know of. And um, if you're not familiar with the Rio name, they are really a, a, a name of pedigree over in the, uh, Europe as well as Italy. They've sold over 100,000 boats in production since the 1960s, family owned and operated, same last name and they have won a number of awards throughout their time being in business. Yeah, I can tell so. this is a very stylish mm -hmm. boat. It, it feels, you know, very, very well designed. The appointments on it are beautiful. The layout is spectacular. And you can also see how the uh, side gunnels fold down to give you some extra entertaining space, which mm -hmm. is a really awesome feature too. You know, when you step on board this boat, you're immediately aware, made aware that it's made for entertaining. You're not gonna be fishing on this boat. You might be diving off the platforms, um, but it's a boat that's built for entertaining and really wowing your guests, your friends, your family. Um, over here you have, all throughout the boat, you have about five areas of entertaining. So you have the stern right here with the sunbed, which goes completely flat as you know, we highlighted a little bit earlier. The dining area, this table also folds up so you have a really a cocktail type of table. Mm -hmm. Over here an electric grill, your sink, this comes down to, and then this uh, TV also hides away in the roof. You have your refrigerator as well as an ice maker. Wow. So all the amenities needed. The beam itself is 14 feet and when you fold the gunnels down you have an additional three feet on each okay. side so you're you know stretch it out to around yeah, 20, 20 21 feet. feet yeah that's impressive so both sides actually come down yes that's amazing you can, yeah and you really you know you just feel that style as soon as you step on the boat it really is impressive mm -hmm. all right let's head forward to the helm absolutely i'll meet you on the other side okay. so over here at the helm um this platform actually folds downward um, not sure what happened there today, <laughs> but uh, folds downward, you know, so you can actually stand on the platform, have full visibility. Like we mentioned, the TV can hide mm -hmm. away in the roof, so you have pretty much 360 degrees of visibility, unobstructed more or less, other than these two. Drawers all down below for any sort of necessary storage. You have your joystick. Uh, no need for a bow thruster on this boat, the kind of benefits almost yep. overlap. And, uh, so with triple Verados in the back, you have the Mercury joystick, which is a fantastic feature. Mm -hmm. Have that on my boat. I don't want to have an, own a boat without it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It saved me so many times in different situations, mm -hmm. getting out of trouble, especially with some cross currents <laughs> and docking. I love the joystick. So yeah, it's... and then we got what dual Garmin's across mm -hmm. the helm here. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. And then this space here, this is really interesting very large space what is this i think that's really more so just for i mean you can Put like, a pad keep there a few and, things yeah. there i wouldn't you know suggest like really hanging out up there but it's really if you need to just like throw something or keep it uh -huh. handy you know you have it you just have that space yeah accessible. this actually okay. flips open too glove box mm -hmm. okay awesome but right. it's really in my opinion i don't think it really has much of a functionality more so uh -huh. than the look and feel yeah uh, but below this actually and we'll get there in a second below here you have your head complete with the shower and wait until you check that out okay mm -hmm. i think we're in for a treat here all right we're moving forward and heading down nice nice wide stairs absolutely love that i wish all manufacturers did that instead of those single steps mm -hmm. coming down all right so, so how tall are you nicholas i'm about 
I'd like to say six one, but All realistically right. six feet tall. All right, so we'll go with six foot as a measurement, and then you can see we've got some additional space up there. So this is about mm -hmm. six foot six ceiling height. Pretty much, we had a guy nice. in here that was around that height, and he was, you know, so many times you get in these boats and you're hunchbacked. Absolutely, um, yeah. But that's just not the case throughout. Now this is really impressive. You've got a lot of wide open walking space here. Mm -hmm. You are not compressed or confined. And I think the other really cool thing is it just opens up almost into the bedroom here and you just gives you that real nice open airiness feeling mm -hmm. um, that you're not being confined. That's really, really neat. Really nice style. You're not really gonna find much space like this on a 50. Mm -hmm. And um, especially with the little bit of luxury you know, um, accents like leather handles, for example. Um, the floors themselves are laminate, and uh, you know, all throughout here, just plenty of space. A lot of times, you know, when <laughs> God forbid you have any bad dreams on board, but you know, this ceiling can be pretty low on some of these boats. And mm -hmm. you got a bad dream, you wake up, hit your head on the ceiling. <laughs> God, God forbid, but or a wave. <laughs> yes, that too. Um, exactly. But you're not going to encounter that here. That is a lot of space. You're right, that is a tremendous amount of headroom. Mm -hmm. It really, really is nice and open. All right, perfect. And hey. you wanna check out the yep. aft suite? Let's go back here. Yeah, so here, I'll even, okay. I'll, to highlight the space wow. again. Wow, oh my gosh, look it at this really walk down up. space. That's at least eight feet above you there. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy and comfortable. Oh, whoops. <laughs> very easy and comfortable to get down uh, into your suite. Um, you also have, you know, some access to electronics, electronics right here. Over there. Okay. Um, storage below. And this nice. is a boat that, you know, you can be, you know, you can take a weekend trip and you're sure. not gonna be dying to get back on land. Right. You know? No, this is very, very spacious and comfortable. Wow, I really mm -hmm. like it. All right, and then I see the head right here. Yeah, I'll let you check that okay. out. So complete so, with the shower. Yep, all right, so we've got a separate shower, which is really nice. Oh, wow, and a great full length panel there too. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You rarely see that. They're usually wet, wet baths, you yeah. know? But here, this is really spacious. Boy, you are not shy for elbow room here. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. What a unique design. Yeah, it's pretty one of a kind as far as its size and just how they make use of the space mm -hmm. without even, and you know, when we get to it too, but without obstructing the other parts of the boat. Yes, so. yes. This is amazing. Excuse me, guys. So we'll go forward to the bow. All right. So now we're walking down the side. Real nice width, beautiful color palette and style. Mm -hmm. And that's a good observation. You know, I would say 99% of the boats here do not, they have that, you know, metallic stainless steel finish, yep. but this one, you know, they painted it black, give it that nice little accent mm -hmm. like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And then another thing too that I wanna highlight is really the separation of space here. You know, again, this brand is very well known for its design, you know, combining luxury with performance. And this area is something that is very rare on a lot of boats of its class. Most of them just have the day bed, but you know, I don't know about you, but I don't know anybody nine feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> so they made use of the space to actually give you three areas for conversation and relaxation. Yeah. And um, that's gorgeous. I mean, you've, you've got definitely the seating area as well as the lounging area. You've got, looks like carbon fiber poles yes. here to hold up the mm -hmm. uh, bow shade. Correct excellent for keeping the guests happy and serving drinks mm -hmm. i love it so what's the top speed on this boat where does my cruising range on this so you're cruising around 30 knots 29 okay. 30 knots and your top speed is around 40. okay um and you know you're really not going to take it much harder than that without no. you know no. potentially risking yourself and the others on board exactly any sort of dangers exactly. or anything yep. like that yep mm -hmm. Well, this is absolutely fantastic. And what's the price point for a, a fully optioned boat like this? Great question. So normally it's an interesting situation. You know, again, we've worked, we are working directly with Rio to bring these boats here in the United States. And so for that, you know, with that in mind, it's a very exclusive community. Mm -hmm. Normally you're gonna be looking around, you know, anywhere between one eight and two two okay. uh, for this boat. 
but you know we want to get people in the water so if you're interested in you know learning about the opportunity to own this boat uh, contact us directly um, support at k marine group is the best email or you can contact me directly nick n-i-c-k at k-c-a-y marine group.com awesome all right well nick thank you very much for your time and walking us through this absolutely gorgeous boat mm -hmm. what an innovation and style and luxury this really really is something special yeah. i would highly recommend anybody who's interested to check this out and give nick a nick a ring this is awesome All right, so now our second uh, Rio yacht. Mm -hmm. Nick is going to take us on the 35. Absolutely. Right. Welcome aboard again. Yep. We've so. got uh, twin 300s across the back. Mm -hmm. Again, just very much going on point of style, luxury, and entertainment. Um, this boat, similar to the 50, has all the amenities, all the creature comforts that you could ask for. Not necessarily a weekend boat, unless it was maybe you and the missus, um, but it is a boat that, you know, you can have upwards of 10 or 12 people Easily. comfortably. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll start back here. So this retracts, so you have a full layout sun bed. There's storage compartments underneath each three areas. This part folds upwards, so you have full access to your uh, engines. A lot of boats in this class are kind of short on cup, uh, cup holders, but you can notice them <laughs> all throughout, and each one too. Yes. If you look inside, has a that is blue. a very uniquely American thing. We need cup holders. Yeah, they, well, <laughs> this was uh, built for the American boater that wanted to be in a European Italian. Boat, exactly, you know? European styling with American cup holders. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your grill right here, okay. your refrigerator down below. Yep, and then of course a sink. Okay. Um, and then right here, let me show you this cool part. So that platform right there is actually comes up for to be a full on table. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, All right. You know, you can That's dock impressive. Yeah. at a restaurant, have people come right out to your boat. Sure. And uh, or even, of course, cook up some, you know, good steaks and then turn around and serve them to you and your guests. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Do you want me to bring it all the way up? Or? Sure. Yeah. Bring it on up. Cool. I will need a. And you can put a pad on it maybe or? A pad? Does it, you can, is it just oh, yeah. serve as a table or you can put a pad on it? Yeah, if you'd like. Okay. And you have that extra, you know. Yep. But it goes pretty high. I'm not sure the exact height, but we'll okay. show you. Okay, yep, that's just really neat, so. right. So now you can get your legs underneath and mm -hmm. it serves as a fully functional table in the back with C deck on it. Yeah. There we go, look at that. Uh, it just awesome. Keeps going. We might need to speed this part up. <laughs> <laughs> Needs an extra motor to speed it up, but still, that's pretty good, though. Yeah. All right. So I'll perfect. just keep that up for. Yeah, the I'd keep that up for show. everyone to see. And then you just easily put your cushions back in. The orange too. Uh, pretty much any color is optional. Um, you know, that's something that again we're working directly with Rio mm -hmm. over in Italy to you know bring these boats here so any sort of color that you can think of whether it's that amaretto red yep. uh, or the lemon yellow or a nice turquoise blue we can make it happen Perfect. Um, another side note if i may about k marine group my company we're also a full service boat yard located right in miami mm -hmm. so you know if you were to get into these boats today we are your warranty center your service center anything god forbid anything goes wrong but you know we are there and able to correct anything. And that's very important to support the product after the sale, especially correct. with boating. That's part of the reason why Rio chose us as their exclusive importer here. Mm -hmm. um, because given the fact that in a similar way to them, you know, we built pedigree based on our customers and their satisfaction. Uh, K Marine has been in service since 1983. And uh, you know, anything from custom refits to just simple bottom jobs. Uh, if you can think of it, we can probably do it. That's awesome. So Great to know. Mm -hmm. All right. So this boat, unlike the 50, has both the bow thruster and the joystick. Okay. Um, so you have, you know, that extra layer of security. I love the steering wheel on this. Yeah, it's, just, it's almost like a Bentley wheel. <laughs> yeah, pretty it's much. You very know? customized. Yeah. It's nice, thick. Very it nice. has beautiful accents. Yeah. And um, just another thing that kind of sets it apart. Perfect. All right. Let's keep going. Shall we go down below? Yeah, let's go down below.
<laughs> All right. A little different feel than the prior mm -hmm. 50 Daytona that we were on. It's a little more confined as you would expect with a 35 foot boat. But the nice thing about this is that this uh, forward berth here, you could comfortably sleep two people on. Correct. Which you do not usually see in a 35 foot boat. You usually have a very narrow berth or a, a V table up here in which they expect people to sleep on. But this is, looks like almost like a full queen size bed where two Correct. people could easily sleep. And then you've got, you know, along the sides here, additional space to put gear and cell phones and there's electrical outlets. Mm -hmm. all the nice creature comforts that you would expect and, and want yeah so. and if i may mention something too this area right here so we have two uh boats similar in size right here this is the 35 that you're on but the 34 is actually a year older it's 2023 34 and it does not have the table which we'll get to that point when we explore okay. the bow but as a result you just have the day beds up there and so this is actually you know this height and so you have that extra headroom oh nice okay all right so over here, stepping into the wet head, I'll actually let you go yep. ahead, my bad. <laughs> That's all right. But stepping into the wet head, you can see just all the attention to detail. Yes. Um, plenty of space. There is a door on the right side, so you have that full privacy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Very, very nice. And then below the stairs, you have your second oh, yes. berth. And there's your second berth again easily accessible by two people to sleep here so mm -hmm. four people could really comfortably sleep on this boat mm -hmm. which is unusual for a 35 foot boat mm -hmm. and then the air conditioner is definitely pumping too which oh, is yeah. really nice <laughs> uh, when it was raining on friday i think it was it was like an igloo almost oh here. yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well, we're wrapping up with k marine and nick and they are bringing the Rio boats to the US. We're gonna head forward, mm -hmm. get one more look up there. See what this 35 has to offer as far as the bow space. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Yeah. So again, this table, it's not uh, hydraulic or electric, but it does have the manual switches where you just simply un unlatch those. This can go all the way down to the floor or can be flat, you know, consistent for a day mm -hmm. bed. And then like I kind of highlighted in that space below deck, uh, on the 34, this does not exist. So you have that extra foot or so of headroom yep. uh, when you're down below. Yep, very nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Again, with the Italian styling, you really feel those differences versus say American manufacturers. Very beautiful look. It has the feel of a speedboat, but the luxury of Italian styling mixed together really really beautiful and your cruise you had mentioned or you had asked me on this one this one is actually very similar you're going to be around 30 knots cruising uh upwards of 43 or so uh top speed um tank capacity around 220 gallons versus this one is about twice that mm -hmm. and um you know at that cruising speed you're at about a one-to-one -one on both of these boats as far as miles per gallon and all awesome. that. Awesome. So. All right. Well, Nick, thank you so much for walking us through these two beautiful boats. My pleasure. Wish you guys success with these and bringing them to the United States. Yeah. All right. Thank awesome. you for your time. Thank you.